yeah, so I've got like a pretty cool studio. I've built up all my tools, all my um, resources over the past 25 years. Okay, so we've got these little cocoons here, the hui that we've been growing. My paints, a couple of weeks I'm working on a tickle tickle. I was trying to make me my own little tuki handle. Tuki for edging. Ko putawaki toku manga, ko rangi taiki toku awa, ko mata toa toku waka, ko natiawa toku iwi, ko te pahipoto toku hapu, ko zina Elliot toku ingoa. These are my paintings. You can sort of subtly see the um, po. Um, so you've got eyes and a nose. That's my manga putawaki. I want to make my own collection because all my work usually goes out to other people. It's good to just um, leave a, leave something. Uh, for my um, iramatu. So at a very young age, um, I showed a lot of um, interest in uh, drawing. I didn't actually start painting until I went to college in uh, third form. I wasn't interested in anything else but art. And so I'd spend my lunch times in there, I was a bit of a geek. Then my art teacher and also my guidance counsellors encouraged me to go and study. So I've learned all these techniques. I've learned about materials and different types of strategies. And it's just about how can I utilize these materials, these techniques to enhance my customs, my heritage, our narratives and our stories. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, I'll show you guys this. It's a montage of my Māori culture and also the things that I like in terms of popular culture. So from there, this work here, it's called Lines, Lines and More Lines. And I wanted to play with what we call a high high. One of the first sort of steps towards um, incorporating my Māori motifs, my Māori heritage, whakapapa, um, into my contemporary artworks. My practice also involves a lot of uh, rangahau and research. Learning from my own tūpuna, who carved our whareinui, going around looking at the monuments and just looking at the sort of styles of my um, my iwi as well and trying to incorporate that into my work. This is one of my uh, very first popo, uh, which I wanted to do and carve um, sort of traditional. This work here shows similarities in some of the character carving characteristics of my um, iwi. Now I'm working on my um, wahine kaifakaurau works with this here, the goal is that the paintings that I do, which has the high highs and the line work and the bright colours and stuff like that, that's the type of um, painting techniques that I'll be putting on to this work. That intersection that happens between your your identity, I'm a painter, moa here now, I'm from Te living in the Waikato. All of that type of thing comes through in the work. If you look at it, it's like So flowing current, through that work, I wanted to tell the stories of the fluidity and the movements that come through and are triggered by moon phases, but also how it affects us as a viewer, as myself as a painter as well. So flowing current is um, similar to this work here. I'm just starting out on this one. This tape is really cool. It gives really good curves. And I've just got these new paints as well, so flats. And I can see here a flat painting surface, which I would normally get if I used an airbrush or my spray guns. I use a kind of like a symmetry type of technique as well here. So those sorts of thinking patterns happen as you're doing the work. It's actually quite calming um, when I'm doing my painting, I love it. It's similar to carving where I am, instead of taking away, I'm actually filling up the grooves and the stencils with pigment and paint. I like to touch it and rub my hand and, and feel that there's actually um, a little bit of depth from the pigment to the wood grain to the canvas. So telling great stories that can inspire our youth through carving and painting is something that I wanted to try and do. And trying to make our Māori symbols, our Māori culture and heritage more accessible. I want the beautiful colours coming through to enhance the forms and the patterns. If the carving of a tūpuna or carving of one of my ancestors tells a really great story, it would inspire 
um, the younger generation as well.